Riverside Dynasty returns as we'll take on number five, Alabama. Now, Bama's been a tough team historically. We got crushed by them the first time we played. I believe that was in season two. We beat them in Tuscaloosa. And most recently, we lost to them in the semifinal of the college football playoff. So they've been a pretty tough team, as you'd expect. It's Alabama. However, things appear to be as even as they ever have been. Both sitting at a 95 overall. 99 offense, 99 offense. 92 defense to 92 defense. This number five Alabama team does not mess around. We know about them. We know about their running back. He's been a really big problem for us. But Bama does have a loss already. Still inside the top five. The highest one loss team in the country. And when you check out this Alabama team... As I want to say we did at the end of last episode, at least a little bit. They're as talented as you would expect. And this is the guy, Craig Johnson. 99 overall, but they've got plenty. Jason Jones, redshirt senior center. They've got another 99 overall center in Ben Robinson. Mark Deloach is a 99 overall defensive tackle, as is Blake Ramsauer. Their running back number two is a 99 overall, Quentin White, but is injured currently. Don't know if we'll see him today. And it's a number of great players. Their quarterback is Jeremy Pierce. Don't remember if we've seen him before. Not the fastest, but he can beat you from the pocket. So something we'll have to look out for sure. And this is a really, really talented team. But maybe a little bit more top-heavy than we are. If you look at our team, yeah, we don't have even one 99 overall player. But what we do have are plenty of high 80s, mid 80s, especially... And of course, our stars in the 90s. It should be a battle today, but it's one I'm ready for as we host a very good team. So I guess the only thing we can really do with our remaining points is just add other guys to the board and see if we can find a gem or two and kind of fill out this class. Ooh, plus nine gem for Chris Smith out of Fairview, Tennessee. He does not really look like an offensive player. Has good elusiveness and spin move, but that's kind of it. Defensively, man and zone and press are good. Chris Smith is a corner and one that I'm actually probably fairly interested in. Trying out these Crown the King uniforms today. First time showing these off in the series. And, you know, I don't think they look as bad as some of you thought, you know, outside of the game. I, I think they look better in game. Uh, they're not going to be for everybody for sure but uh, it's a fun little mix up and we're not gonna take things too seriously but we're gonna take this game seriously as adam daniel and the royals will get the football on the 23 yard line and we'll try to get things started early it's a really good alabama team and they're screaming in daniel already on the move we're just gonna rush out of bounds uh yeah they're gonna fly around this is a really fast team they work a little speed option Daniel gonna keep it, and wow, couldn't get the pitch off to Gonzalez. They played that pretty well. Try to get a little bit creative on second and long. And now it's already third and nine. Not a great start for this offense, and we're gonna have to score points if we wanna beat Alabama. We go up the seam, it's Corey Warren! Big first down, had the outside too, but trusted the inside more, great ball. From Adam Daniel under pressure. Corey Warren, of course, going to hold on to that. Great catch. Hayford in motion. Going to be another option play. And we just can't find any space with Daniel. They are all over the speed option. Getting out with Daniel already. We're going to run. And look at the pursuit. Look at the chase down ability. Probably could have thrown that. But I'm so used to Adam Daniel having this all-world speed to outrun guys. And it's just not working out against this Alabama team that seems to be really good in coverage but also not gonna allow much as we're trying to throw outside daniel under pressure and nearly sacked he looks like he might be hurt as well took a massive shot and they want us to go for it on fourth and six do we not have the leg from this distance 54 yarder yeah probably not uh we'll try and pick this up somehow yeah and daniel is hurt ryan davis will be in and hopefully he's able to keep things alive. Try to screen and they're all over it. Knocked it down at the line. Oh man, this Bama team is not messing around. 
Stevens in the backfield, muscling down Johnson, got him. Justin Stevens. Big time power up the middle to go with that speed. And we're mixing in these linebackers week in, week out. You guys know that at this point. And I like the play of Justin Stevens a lot. Now, Bruce Clemens, of course, is still going to play in that box role as well. He's done that at a pretty high level these past couple weeks. But, I mean, it looks like Justin Stevens taking full advantage of the opportunity today. As against Bama, I like him in the box. And I like Clemens' speed. And, you know, coverage experience back there as well. I like Stevens more of a run and chase player against this Alabama Crimson Tide team. It's underneath. Stevens, big hit. And Bama should punt here on fourth and three. Justin Stevens all around the football to start this game. And Bama will punt. Daniel will be out with a concussion. So Ryan Davis will take over, at least for the time being. Uh, that's not exactly what you want to see from your superstar quarterback, hopeful Heisman winner. Missing game time, especially against Alabama. Yeah, it's not looking good. Now, I know concussions happen, right? But at what point are we going to start labeling Adam Daniel maybe as injury prone? He has missed significant time in two of his three seasons, this being his third, and it just started. And now we'll be out against the best opponent we've played so far for really the entirety of the game. And already it's third and 14. Alabama not giving us an inch. Little lob, Luke Tucker stayed in the air too long. Way too long in the air. Probably had him. Davis misses. Needed to fire that in there. Hung up too long. And we will once again punt. Stevens living in the backfield. Pierce will break a tackle. Pierce has blockers. He's going up the seam. Clemens will tackle him. But oh my goodness. What a frantic series of events. Stevens soaring into the backfield, but kind of tackled both players. Couldn't bring down either of them. Quarterback kept it and ended up scrambling for a massive gain. To be a check down. Pierce might look to run. Breaks a, a sack from Kerr. Fires back down the middle of the field. Nobody's there. Wow, we got to be able to capitalize on these opportunities. Marcus Kerr got hands on the quarterback, and you usually do not see him miss these, but could not bring him down. Stevens got blocked, and then, man, a wide open receiver back across the middle. They say never throw it late deep down the middle of the field, but that's kind of what happened. And Bama moves the chains again. Quarterback keeper again. Stevens on the ground. Clemens can't make the tackle. And it's going to be first and goal for the Crimson Tide. Stevens make a play. He's cut down. Somebody get to him. Stevens misses. Bobby Anderson will somehow get a hand on that. I don't know if that would have been a touchdown. I don't even know how he got his hands on that to knock it down. I thought that was going to be far, like, way away from anybody. It's amazing we can't bring this quarterback down. He just breaks every sack, but Anderson, I mean, makes a nice play. I guess I thought that was going to be farther away than it was. Saves the touchdown. Not Got to make a play. Stevens can't make the uh, tackle. Oh, need to save a touchdown. Couldn't do it. They're going to look. They're going to take another look. Uh, I'm frazzled right now. I mean, just we don't make tackles right now. I don't know if he got in for sure. Then Washington did his best. Terrence Brown in there as well. Uh, it's going to be really close. I'm not sure if that ball broke the plane inbounds. If not, it's not a touchdown. That knee comes down. He's going to be about half a yard short, I think. They might overturn this. It is reversed. We're going to have another chance to make a stop. So Stevens does end up saving the touchdown. But with this Bama team, I mean... It's only a matter of time. We just have not been sound tacklers against them so far. Some plays, yes. Other plays, no. And I don't know where Bobby Anderson was. Thankfully, miscommunication. And unless Bama tries and goes for this, but they're going to take the field goal. Yeah, we're going to be down three more than likely. Kick is up and good. Bama on the board first. Three nothing as Utah and USC... We'll trade blows here in the Pac-12. It's under eight to play here in the fourth quarter for them. Triplet with space. Triplet with speed down the sideline. 
backfill triplet big time return. That sets us up beautifully. But again, like we saw this last season. Without our starting quarterback, and this is where we were in the Bama game. Daniel didn't come in until the second half, and he was really banged up. But we're going to struggle to move the ball without our best playmaker. And it was even a, a bit of a trouble uh, to move the ball with him early in this game. We're going to have to lead on that man. Lean on Reggie Gonzalez. It's going to be a 32-yard catch and run on the screen. He's got to be our guy. But the problem is Bama's run D has been so good so far that it's tough to really get things going. Maybe Phil Triplett can find a hole. Hand. Read option. Gonzalez will keep. Lower the shoulder. Go through with some Bama players on the defense. Crushed. Reggie Gonzalez, big power. Gotta love it. First and goal for the Royals. Do we give Tucker a chance? We're gonna throw it up. Luke Tucker, go up and get it. Luke Tucker, Luke, touchdown. Luke. Ooh. First score of the game for the Royals. One-on-one -on -one ball, 50-50 ball. For Luke Tucker, a lot of times, it's a little bit better than 50-50 odds. Way to go up and get it. Way to give us a lead here. Defending the kingdom. We're going up on top. 7-3. I don't love the way my mic sounds sometimes. Went back and listened to that and make sure the sound was okay. Uh, it, it just kind of cuts me off sometimes as Pierce will take it. So I, I've taken off the compressor as we're trying to make a touchdown saving play here. Thankfully, Pierce only has a marginal speed. But hopefully it sounds a little bit better now. I don't know. There, it, it's a fine line with the, with the mic between like not peaking and having it be way too loud versus like it not picking up some of my noises or kind of silencing me kind of makes it sound like a voice crack or nothing at times it's gonna be a nice tackle there by sean sullivan to help out with justin stevens me you know it's trial and error some of these things i it, it, you know it sounds good when i test it and then we get into the game situation and it'll it'll sound not so good at times but it's play action it's gonna be a little dunk down clemens good tackle one-on-one -on -one. Walker will only get four. Walker there with the big number 10. Kind of reminds me. Oh, I don't. Is, is it Blake Barnett? Who was the Oklahoma quarterback commit that ended up playing tight end? Wow, what a catch on the side. John Manson. Oh, how does that happen? Oh, Stevens going to take it. Jumps in front of the road. Stevens with speed down the sideline. Johnson can't catch him. Henderson can't catch him. Justin Stevens touchdown. Had a good feeling about playing him in the box today, and he proves us right. Takes it back. Jumps in front of the route. And Stevens with speed. Ball skills. It's why we love him. Justin Stevens touchdown. And we're going to extend this lead here to end the first quarter. 14 to 3. Look at Justin Stevens, the true freshman, making a huge play as Utah will beat USC. Blake Bell, by the way, not Blake Barnett. I knew it wasn't Blake Barnett. He was a USF quarterback. USF quarterback, Blake Bell. Blake Bell. That's one of those things I know, but in the moment, just couldn't quite think of it for a second. But we got there in the end. As Clemens making a play on special teams, Green can't even get to the. 20. I mean, maybe the 15, 16 yard line. Maybe the 17. They're going to mark it on the 16. And Stevens is gas. Smith going to come in for a play. A little bit better against a run anyway. I mean, I guess not. I mean, look, look at that. That's like a bowling ball. Just rolling down the line. Rolling down the lane. Stevens will be back in the game now. First and 10 for the Crimson Tide to start the second quarter. See what we got. Run up the middle. Stevens kind of weaved around it. Johnson only gets five, though. No big deal. Not for now, anyway. Wow! What a throw. I mean, this quarterback is good at finding guys when the play breaks down. Alabama's had plenty of time in the pocket so far today, but they've got a world-class offensive line, so it makes sense. It's just that it's tough to ask any DB to cover for the amount of time that they've had so far. We just have to take advantage of getting in the backfield and when Stevens misses tackles and that's another missed tackle what are we supposed to do Craig Johnson goes for 18 that's why he's one of the best players in all of college football we're seeing it firsthand Stevens in the backfield just couldn't finish the play that speed is too much for this offensive line to handle but I mean, we we can't make the tackle so what does it matter it's a really big play we're gonna try and get a little bit exotic with this look 
Maybe Blitz. Ooh, Walker in motion. They're looking for that mismatch. We'll stay over the middle. Got to make that tackle. What a shot. What a hit. Well, we had uh, Willie Hollins backing up there. But, I mean, he just crushed him. Fourth and seven for Bama. Going to try a field goal. And this one will be good. Alabama will make this a one-score game. 14-6 to six, Riverside. Just over six minutes to play here in the first half. Still plenty of time to take advantage. Want Reggie Gonzalez to really lead the way here. But we're going to need an offensive line to block for that. And that's been a bit of a problem all day. Yep, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Big number 93 looking like Jonathan Allen. Just got flashbacks watching him play at Alabama. He was uh, unreal. Still probably one of the best interior defensive linemen I've ever evaluated in terms of uh, draft evals. He was just on a different level. So we're going to lob it deep. Luke Tucker with a step. Ball is underthrown and nearly intercepted. I think we had Tucker with an accurate throw. Davis missed him. Third and 13. Going to go one-on-one -on -one again. Couldn't get it to him. I liked our option, though. One-on-one. -on -one. Ryan Davis has been unimpressive. His lone touchdown was a jump ball to Luke Tucker. As we'll try and get a really good bounce here. Going to have to. Nope. Johnson will get it. Alabama ball starting in Riverside territory. They've completely crushed this offensively. But hey, look at the score. 14-6. We're still looking okay. But yeah, we're having a real tough time moving the ball on offense. Can't really run the ball. Can't throw the ball. That is what you call a recipe for disaster. Whoa, that was a touchdown. I don't know what happened, but we got crossed up in the secondary. Receiver got wide open. Thankfully, Pierce missed the throw otherwise that's probably six and the extra point for bama maybe in the two-point conversion try and tie things up hodges can't get there no micah john manson's crushed us today man didn't really expect him to be the guy that showed up for the crimson tide but four catches for about 50 yards here in the first half he's been a bit of a problem he's the guy that bama goes to when they need to move the chains run up the middle stevens missed him Brown can't bring him down. Clemens saves a TD. Uh, this guy is just a battering ram. Elusive move. It's called running straight. Ah, Stevens said no answer. Tough. Stevens. Oh, read option. Can't make the tackle. Anderson diving at nothing. And it's a Jeremy Pierce touchdown. You know, despite not being fast at all, this guy is hard to bring down. He just breaks tackle after tackle after tackle. Bama will go for two and try to tie this game up. I would really like for them to miss this. Will they run the ball is the big question. And we jumped off. It's going to have to be a yard that they get now. Oh, it's a false start. This might change the decision for Alabama. They're still going to go for it. As Joseph Brown has a strained peck, he's going to be out for this down minimum. Uh, we got a lot of linebackers on the field. It's a screen over the middle. Stevens, big hit. Won't show in the box score, but that's a big time play as Ole Miss has upset number 18, Oregon. Probably a pick em, you know, 20 to 18. Not, not really a big upset, but Oregon at home, and we like seeing that Pac-12 team go down. Uh, we're going to sub in Marion Bates for now. Uh, he'll play the rest of the second half probably when Joseph Brown is 100%. Boom, Bates out of the game, and we'll be good to go, and we'll get the starter back out there. Triplet, decent return. He just streak Luke Tucker. I don't know that Ryan Davis can really get it in there. I see him. Uh, we just are not going to have the angle there. Check it down to Gonzalez who will break a tackle. Go through another. Reggie Gonzalez kind of is the offense. The problem is we just haven't been able to give him the ball naturally as a runner. They're just all over it. He's getting tackled like nearly instantly in the backfield. Our offensive line just doesn't match up. So we're trying to get screens rocking and, and get these guys the football in space. Andy Harris on the field. We're going to throw this quick out, though. Don't love the ball placement on it. I don't know what it is. I know Ryan Davis has his weird cult following just because you guys love backup quarterbacks for no reason. Despite his rating, he isn't good. And it's not that... It, sometimes it is me. Don't get me wrong, right? Uh, as we're going to be under pressure, Davis breaks a sack and then gets sacked for more yards. But when we see him play... He is bad. 
And we've played with Marion Bass and had more success. It's just, for whatever reason, Davis plays way below his ratings, whereas other guys will sometimes play up, as that was really weird. But Luke Tucker kind of moonwalking, making a big play happen. I don't know what that was. But it was fairly successful, I guess. As we're going to see, is this Tom Rowe? It is. The true freshman Tom Rowe onto the field for one of the first times. Big spot here. Thought we'd highlight that. Don't love the options. We're going to throw it away on third and three and uh, make this decision on fourth and three whether we want to go for this or not. We're actually going to call a timeout as well. We are going to go for it on fourth and three. Uh, I think I want to flip this play art though. Now I want Gonzalez on the Texas route. This is not what I want. This is not what I want at all. We're going to call another timeout. Here, we're going to end up putting uh, Reggie Gonzalez on a little swing. Yeah, I don't know what the read is here. If Luke Tucker burns over the top, got to get it to him. Davis deep down the field. Tucker, go up and get it. Couldn't hold on. Uh, we were looking deep that entire play there. Don't know if anything got open underneath, but Luke Tucker one-on-one. -on -one, you like those odds. He just couldn't catch it. And the reason we go for that there is because I don't trust stopping Bama either way. Maybe we give them 20 yards in field positioning. I still think with this time and their three timeouts that they're going to find a way to drive down the field. They've just been doing it all game. Now, the real trouble becomes... Let's try to make this tackle. The real trouble becomes, you know, do we trust ourselves to run the ball there? And on fourth and three, do you think maybe? But based off of what we've seen so far this game, I just don't trust that. Like the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, matchup down the field. Just didn't end up working out. And sometimes that's just what happens. Tim Washington, nice tackle. Johnson will lose maybe half a yard. Quick throw away. Okay. Weird third down move. That'd be one of the stranger throwaways I've ever seen. But now in fourth and two from midfield, they're going to look to punt. A little bizarre. I don't know what's kind of happened for this Alabama offense, but... Uh, kind of a bad decision after bad decision. We'll start with the, ball, uh, the football in the 20. We have to be able to run the ball somehow. All right, that's a little bit better. Not a lot of time, though, but I just want to see, are they going to let us run the ball? Do they want us to run the ball? Or is it going to be something we can do and see as a viable option in the second half? These are the questions that we don't have answers to yet. We're going to roll out with Davis. Do we throw to Gonzalez crossbody? We're gonna try it! There's Reggie! He takes a big hit! Ryan Davis on the run. We got crazy. We can afford to at this stage in the game. Nearly sacked. I don't know how we got that ball to Gonzalez, but that is incredible. Clock's gonna still run. We only have one timeout. Didn't really anticipate getting the football back here in the first half. We're gonna try to get into field goal range. We're gonna roll out with Davis again. Davis, not great speed. He's just gonna get out of bounds. Freshman Marcus Shaw is actually on the field as well. I think what we're going to do is get Kevin Mitchell out there. Switch him and Rowe. Shaw, of course, will be in on this play. Got to throw that quickly outside. Harris cannot hold on. That's what you get when you get the backup receivers on the field. Because we need to either get out of bounds or have this take less than five seconds. It's a really weird amount of time for me. Uh, it's going to have to be a quick throw. Going Luke Tucker. And we're just going to give ourselves up. Luke Tucker, veteran move, playing as a true freshman, or a, as a redshirt freshman. We're in a field goal range now. And we're going to try and put one up. 44-yarder to end the first half. Do we have the leg? Kick up and just good. That's about the range for our kicker, 44 yards. We're going to extend this lead a little bit. We don't get the football to start the half, the second half, but... Decent way to end the first half up 17-12. It's been a wild game so far. But I do want to get a look at Greg Hunt. I know it's a close game. I haven't been overly impressed by Ryan Davis. I know he's a 97 overall. But how much of that is being carried by awareness? When you look at Greg Hunt and how he compares, true freshman, 6'5", 235. He's got ideal size, 88 speed, great agility, 82 break tackle. He's got 92 elusiveness. But what does he do as a passer? Well, he's got a bigger arm than Ryan Davis has. Not quite as accurate, but I'm curious to see what the freshman has. Here's a run. Kyle Smith trying to muscle down Johnson in the backfield. 
But unlike Justin Stevens, Johnson does end up gaining a yard. You guys remember that? One of the first plays of the game, Stevens had a similar play in the backfield but ended up just powering through him. It's going to be a delay. Stevens trying to break off it. Wow. Very lucky that Johnson got away for Alabama. Very lucky. That was close. Crooks in motion. What a name. Reminds me of the boot scootin' boogie as we're actually getting blocked. Man, this guy's a monster. Mark Fisher. I mean, you can just see he's built like a tank. It's like your college Mike Allstott. Fan scream, get off the field. I'm trying. Come on, Riverside. Let's switch assignments here. It's going to be a counter. Oh, man. Beautifully blocked by Alabama. They're just kind of tough to beat right now. But we are matching up to stop the run now. Surely this is when they're going to pass. We're showing man coverage. Trying to get out there. Stevens, nice one-on-one -on -one tackle. Had a little bit of help, but they didn't do anything. Was it Brown in the box? We have so many guys near the line of scrimmage, but this is how you stop the run. Oh my God, we missed with Clemens. Did, it, oh my God. Oh, I hate it. Mark Fisher, touchdown. Bama takes the lead here. Going to be probably, I would go for two if I were them. Or going to. Could be 20 to 17. I, uh, I, I hate Alabama. I really do in this game. Clemens up the middle. Boom, Pierce goes down. Bruce Clemens, again, not going to show up in the box score, but we've been perfect here defending the two-point conversion as Kentucky, number seven in the nation, will hold on to beat number 10, South Carolina. And we are going to see the true freshman for the first time. I believe he was a four-star recruit. One of the highest overall recruits we've actually ever signed. He was, I believe, an 80, maybe an 81 overall. And I'm not sure if he's going to keep that number 14 for his entire Riverside career. We're going to try and set him up nicely with a screen to start the game. Let Gonzalez just do all the work. Good blocks, though. Reggie's still going. Look at Gonzalez go for 16. Got a little bit too fancy at times. But Greg Hunt's first pass is a completion. You hope it would be on the screen. But with Ryan Davis earlier, it wasn't. Trying speed option, a little pitch to Gonzalez. Good timing on it. We get five. Second down and five. Quick throw outside, that's to the running back triplet. Another completion for Greg Hunt. And this Riverside team has a big history of winning with Greg's. Won a national championship with Greg the Hall Monitor. Hall. Quick throw, Tucker first down. Ball came out maybe a tick too early, but we got it there. Here's a draw. Looks like decent blocking. Get five. Second down and five. Hunt going to take off. He's got pretty good speed. Greg Hunt down the sideline. Going to duck out of bounds here after 13. Pretty good start to his Riverside career. And Reggie is injured. Strain Peck. Triplet, the new RB1 for right now. Throw a quick bubble screen to Mitchell, the true freshman corner slash receiver. Six foot five, 187. Really odd size for a corner. Rarely see them that big, but he's locked down. All right, strain Peck. Gonzalez is going to come back in. Second down and five. Going to roll out with Hunt. Back up the middle goes Greg Hunt. Greg Hunt weaving, looking for space. 16-yard gain for the true freshman quarterback. Is he not the spark plug for this Royals offense right now? We are moving the ball through the air and on the ground. Greg Hunt, a big reason why. First and goal for the Royals. Hunt calling audibles at the line. Handoff goes to Gonzalez. He puts a football on the ground. He wasn't ready to come back. A rare Reggie fumble. And just like that, Bama will turn the tide. No pun intended. Can I get a play where he buzz down? Yeah, this is going to work well. At least Brown in man coverage. I want another safety near the line of scrimmage. Only have three defensive linemen, though. It's going to be right back up the middle. I mean, this is that, this is the big fear. I didn't realize we only had three defensive linemen. Tight end in motion. Going to be actually in a fullback's position. And that's going nowhere. Sean Sullivan get to him first. No, they're going to give that to Brandon Powell. Doesn't play a ton. Third defensive tackle for us, but that's a really nice play. Three receiver set. We're going to match up now as Powell rotates off the field. He's just a rotational defensive tackle. It's a nice play, but it's a nice play because of the defense that we're in. And it's second and 12. 
It's gonna be nearly intercepted by Stevens. A phrase we say a lot because it's pretty true. Stevens nearly with number two there. Surprised he didn't even get a hand on it. Third and nine for Bama. Can probably count on Walker being another receiver. He's gonna leak out late. Pierce under pressure. Will throw for Clark. We just cannot wrap up this quarterback. Oh my goodness. And yeah, it's an impossible task to ask our defensive backs to cover that deep into a play. It's not going to happen. When they get into these recess rules and the quarterback just scrambling around here, breaking tackles and, and buying time, making plays, it's going to be really, really tough. And this Mark Fisher guy, I hate him. It's like 10 yards a pop, literally 9.9. Fisher in motion. He's going to get it. Sullivan, big tackle in the open field. That's an unbelievable play. Another true freshman showing up in today's game. You kind of don't think that he is, right? But this is his first year playing, obviously, as a true freshman. Six foot seven. He's hard to miss out there, sometimes for the wrong reasons. But that's a really nice play. They had blockers out in front as well. That could have been disastrous. Third and seven. We got to match up well here. Over the middle, and that's going to be picked off by Sullivan. Sean Sullivan, hero of the drive, big tackle for loss, and then comes out of nowhere, finally using that 6 7 frame, gets the interception, and puts the ball back in Riverside hands. And we have Greg Hunt on the field. That drive was ended too early. Last time out, Reggie Gonzalez fumble, but. I don't think that's going to happen again. Quick throw for Luke Tucker. He's so good out in space. Can't make a man miss, but makes a, a nice catch for a first down. Greg Hunt, 5 for 5, 55 yards passing. I mean, might as well make him number 5 going forward. We're going to lob that up one-on-one. -on -one. Bennett can't make the catch. First incompletion for Hunt. He was under some serious pressure. Second and 10, read option. Hunt will keep. Hunt's going to slide. I mean, yeah, he's six foot five. Dude's huge, but we want to play it safe. Only one for six on third down today. That's not good. Third and one here. Hunt going to look to scramble. Hunt with speed. Just going to duck out again. Another first down. Play it safe. We got the speed. They can't match up. Looked like man coverage. Who's covering the quarterback? Nobody. And that is the end of the third quarter. Riverside down here by just a point. A field goal would put us on top, but we want a whole lot more than that. Looking to put up seven. Play action here to start the fourth quarter. Hunt going to scramble. Take it out. Yes. Saw triangle wide open in the end zone. It's a tough throw to make, guys. And five rushes for 55 yards. This is a sign. This is a sign. We got to strip Bennett of number five and give it to Greg Hunt. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the right call. Here's Gonzalez rumbling forward. Good gain. Is that safety coming up? That's going to be... He's going to be blitzing the entire time. So what do we have to do here? Throw it quickly. It's going to be... I mean, Hayford should be open. If we read this correctly. Ball it to Hayford! Touchdown! Greg Hunt gets his first passing touchdown of his collegiate career. And the true freshman has been the spark plug we're looking for. Recognize that safety coming down. New Hayford be uncovered. It was a tight window throw, but Hunt has the arm. Ripped it in there, and we're up by five. Looking to make it seven here with a two-point conversion. Do we trust Reggie Gonzalez after the fumble? Maybe, maybe not. I think we're going to try it. At least it's an option. A read option. Hunt going to keep. Hunt going to walk in. Two-point conversion is successful. And Riverside goes up by a full touchdown. Down goes Pierce. Finally, I think it was Terrence Brown. Big sack. Our interior defensive linemen are showing up. Except for, uh, you know, the main man up the middle. That's That's been our guy in years past. And, you know, Craig Walker just hasn't... Or Phil Walker. Phil, no. Phil Walker? It's got to be Phil. Phil Walker, the senior. He hasn't really played a huge role this season as he did a season ago. It's going to be a run to the outside. Stevens, oh my goodness, one-on-one -on -one tackle. I'm fired up. Justin Stevens living in the backfield when he wraps up. It's a beautiful thing. Stay safe out there. Wrap it up. Third and 13. 
Walker in motion. Got to take him away. Stevens can't undercut it. Ryan Walker somehow gets the first down. I don't hate it, though. Justin Stevens went for the game ender on the pick. Just missed it, unfortunately. And Bama will get the first. But that's probably a good shot at a dagger if we get the takeaway there. Really like that potential. Look at the change of direction. Johnson kind of tackles himself. Another third down for Alabama. This one, very important. Crucial time in the game. Pierce under pressure. He'll break a sack, but Willie Hollins takes advantage. Pierce was stunned. Willie Hollins was not. One-on-one -on -one matchup. Hollins is a pretty good player. Tried to rip under, wasn't working. Ends up spinning back and getting Pierce. That's what happens when you have too much time. You push him around the pocket. That's great. He can spin back and get to the QB. That's exactly what happened. And they're going to have to punt on fourth and eight. Huge sack by Willie Hollins. Just under five to play in this game. We need points. Points could effectively end the game. It's the single biggest need this drive. Gonzalez will break tackles. Looking to get to the outside. Still rumbling down the field. 21 yards for Reggie. I mean, he's clearly a special player. When he's out there breaking tackles, I mean, it's it's a really tough player to stop. And that safety looks like he's coming up. We smell blood in the water. But that safety rotated over, trying to get out with Hunt. We're just going to take a step out of bounds. Hunt was tackled, but picks up nine. Second and one. Hunt spinning out. Seeing options, but we'll just slide, stay in bounds, keep that clock moving. Of course, it will anyways. Uh, stop momentarily for the first, but still uh, going to keep going after. Triple with a handoff. Cut back. Five yards. We're actually nearly at Alabama's total yardage. We will match it with a touchdown. Second and five. Kind of looking for options here. Hunt going to get out. Surveying. We'll dump it off to Gonzalez, but it's behind him. Had some options there. Kind of got a little bit too crazy. That's 100 yards receiving for Gonzalez on the game. Greg Hunt, seven for eight. 73 yards passing and a touchdown. And it is third and three. Operating from empty. It's going to be a QB draw. Oh, that was the wrong call. I forgot how poorly that gets blocked. But we'll try a 40-yard field goal. A little bit of wind against us, but I think this is makeable. Kick is up, and that is way good. 28-18, 10-point lead here with under 30 seconds, or 30, 30. Where, where am I getting the number 30 from? I have no idea. 10-point game with under three minutes to play. Maybe that's a three I was looking for. And I, it's pretty unbelievable that the CPU is like, yeah, go for it here. Uh, no, that's a pretty bad decision. <laughs> Would have been horrific if we didn't get it. Name of the game now is just keep Alabama in front of you. As that's all we have to do. We'll allow completions underneath. As long as it's not going to take the top off the defense, have at it. It's just do not get beat over the top. It's the number one thing. There's still a decent amount of time yet uh, left. And that's that's way too good. Oh, that's way too good. Sullivan oh, makes a huge tackle. I don't know how that got so open. Check down, Pierce. Oh, nice tackle, Bobby Anderson. No, it's not. It's Micah Hodges who made the play. It's 27, not 23. And it's second and 11. Time ticking. Bama really can't afford to use any timeouts right now. They just need a quick score. It's lobbed up. Bumped into the air. Oh, that would have been the game. Justin Stevens couldn't bring that one down. And nobody else could either. Third and 11, though. Man coverage against Ramsey. That's an interesting matchup. But Stevens is a DB. He can handle it. It's going to be a screen to the other side. Clemens. Kind of over-pursued, but made the tackle anyway. It's fourth and inches. Clock going to keep ticking, which is exactly what we want. A minute and 20 seconds to play. It's Wildcat. Bring up the safeties. Is that, is that a false start? It's got to be. False start. Alabama's going to back up. What is this matchup? We have Hold on. Timeout. We have Stevens at defensive end. We had, what, Jarrell Dawson at linebacker. 
No way. Clint Black onto the field for one of the first times today. Quarterback operating out of shotgun. We have the matchups we want. If they uh, end up converting, that's fine. Kind of screwed that up. Didn't really expect the corner route there. But we're in man coverage, so we got to be uh, a little bit stickier on that. Stevens, eyes in the backfield, looking at the quarterback. But uh, that clock is going to keep moving. And the clock is not a friend of the Crimson Tide right now. Brown in the backfield forces a throw away. Now, Bama is fine still, even with three timeouts. Even if they don't get the onside kick, because they can stop us. But we uh, desperately don't want to allow a TD. Pierce under pressure, and he goes down. Eric Coles, was that who that was? I think Eric Coles got to him on the edge. Doesn't play a ton, but makes a big play here. Third and goal. Bama forced to use the timeout. Now they're going to really need that onside kick. Pierce with all day. We'll find Fisher. Four Royals in the area. Bring him down. And that is the second timeout now called for Bama. Fourth and goal. Game on the line. They should have gone for a field goal. And down it goes Pierce. Football came out incomplete. And that should be the game. A handoff for two to Reggie Gonzalez should do it. Looked like a face mask as well. Final timeout called for Alabama. And we could just knee the ball. Kind of backed up in a weird spot though. But uh, kneeing it probably is the way to go. And will we even get the kneel down? No. Game over. Riverside has come back to defeat Alabama. It was a close game, so it wasn't really a huge comeback or anything, but a really exciting, really big game here against a really good Alabama team. A lot of reallys going on. Uh, Greg Hunt played really well, I thought. And I thought better than Ryan Davis. Maybe you guys would agree. I know Ryan Davis has some supporters in the comments section. Some Royals faithful. Love them some Ryan Davis, but you know what? I think Greg Hunt played better. Uh, Ryan Davis did make one really nice play. It wasn't the touchdown throw to Luke Tucker, but it was that throw on the run to Reggie Gonzalez. Justin Stevens, I thought, had a really good game for the most part. And I think the big story for me today is the play of true freshman Greg Hunt. I think he warrants being QB2 on the depth chart. Week 7 at number 18, Oregon. They just lost. They might be pushed out of the top 25. Okay, so Jim Sanders has committed to Vanderbilt. I don't even know who that is. But we do have Ben Bailey committed. We do have Tim Johnson committed. Kind of nice. And we do have Joel Carter. Joel Carter committed. He's a little bit slow. But we are really building up this defense with just studs. Multiple linebackers. That's four now. Multiple defensive ends in pursuit of. We'll have to see how that goes. And also, help on the offensive line. Ben Bailey's a beast. Good pass block, great run block. Pretty good speed and acceleration, too. Should be a beast. I don't know how we want to play this McNeil thing. Because he's got some visits coming up at some pretty big places. Uh, I don't really just want to get pushed out you know, completely off the board. I think the way to do it is to get the uh, the locksmith going on. But in order for that to happen, we got to get pushed out a little bit. Why well, Can that even happen now since we made the cut? Is there no being locked out anymore? Or would we get locked out if we get pushed out of the battle? I think we get locked out if we get pushed out of the battle. But maybe we're close enough where we should just stay in it. I'm still going after these other defensive ends. I don't know that we're going to get Scott Brown. Probably not if we're going up against Georgia. But it's possible with a good visit. With the scholarship offered. It's possible. And Riverside is your new number one team, by the way. That's huge. Let me take a look at top 25 polls. See where we are. Coaches has Riverside at number one. But five teams getting votes. AP has Riverside at number one. Four teams getting votes. And the CFP poll is not out yet. Heisman Watch has Reggie Gonzalez at number three. But notable omission is Adam Daniel. Adam Daniel 12th in passing, but like a thousand down to Brown. In rushing, Reggie leads the team. Adam Daniel's been good, but not quite as dynamic as we've seen in the past. Especially, I mean, look at the rushing. Are we just been too scared to take off? Reggie Gonzalez also leads the team in receiving, by the way. Well, in terms of catches, four yards 
to Luke Tucker, who has seven touchdowns, by the way, in that number one spot. It's for sacks, five and a half for Marcus Kerr. Willie Hollins has four. Eric Coles with three, but not a ton of pressure overall. Interceptions, Clint Black had two in the one game. And this is where we are. So I'm happy with where we are. Uh, need to beat up on Oregon to keep that number one spot. They're going to be a tough team. Of course, we know that. They're ranked still. They're an 88 overall. It's a beatable team, but we're just going to have to go out and do it. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Riverside is back and better than ever, hopefully. Number one spot. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Joke. I'm laughing so loud.